Injury and violence prevention are the core focuses during Trauma Awareness Month, and there are many things that we can all do to prevent death and disability from traumatic injuries. We've been looking at a few of those things this week, and we're going to wrap up today with one of the easiest things to do, and that's seatbelt safety. Shane Harper is the Surgical ICU Director at Northwest Texas Hospital Trauma Critical Care. This is, like I said, super easy to do, and it does help a tremendous amount. How many people are victims of accidents because they don't use their seatbelts correctly? Well, you know, the numbers are pretty consistent. Most year, most uh, often we see about 3,000 a year. Uh, in Texas, the most, you know, accurate we have is between 2003, 2012, we had over 25,000 deaths in Texas alone just from uh, motor vehicle accidents where seatbelts weren't utilized. So when we're talking about vehicle accidents, how do they rank in comparison to other types of death in America? Unfortunately for, you know, throughout the United States, for persons under the age of 50, trauma is one of the leading causes of death. Yeah. And of course, uh, in that realm, motor vehicle accidents take up a big portion of that. Yeah. Uh, young, healthy adults, young children, you don't have any uh, illness, any chronic things to cause death. So therefore it's trauma and most of the time it's motor vehicle accidents. And uh, most of the time I would say a, a majority w is because people are not wearing their seat belts correctly. How effective are they if they're used correctly? So they've gone back and looked at the research and kind of decided that if people do utilize their seat belts correctly, put their child in the correct uh, child seat or booster seat, you can cut down serious injury or death by half. So just in 2012 alone, that would have meant 3,000 people could have been saved if they'd utilized their seat belt on every trip. And it just, I mean, and you know what? And I know you probably see this, you hear this a lot. It's, oh, I just was going just quickly down the street or around the corner or something like that, right? Do you, you hear that? All the time, you know, people come in and they just, they say, I never thought it was me. Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't plan on trauma. You don't plan no. on something, you know, catastrophic happening to you, or your family. Every little thing you can do to prevent that, is worth it. And you see this stuff all the time. Yes, unfortunately, every day. I mean, we, we're so grateful to you and the work that you do, because what would we do? It's not me. It's definitely yeah. a team effort. Uh, Northwest Texas being our trauma center, from our nurses, our respiratory therapists, uh, you know, the surgical groups. Uh, it's definitely a team effort. It's it's no one person. Wow, so good. I, I do want to mention though, and I thought this was interesting, Texans actually do better when it comes to wearing seatbelts than the rest of the country, huh? I, believe it or not, Texas actually uh, is there towards the top of the list. They say about 95% of Texans uh, say they regularly use their seat belts. National average is around 85%. Well, I mean, that's good news. So how do we get 100% more people across the country? Any, th any sort of strategies you think are particularly effective? Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> being a driver myself, I understand. Uh, but penalizing motorists yeah. seem to be the only thing. Of course, there are uh, the great campaigns that you know Department of Public Safety puts out, the click it or ticket being the big one. Uh, they do tend to help, uh, and they especially help the people that don't uh, wear their seatbelts regularly, mainly men and young adults. Is that true? Main, it's mainly men and young adults? Unfortunately. Well, that's so interesting. So guys out there and, and young people out there, I mean, make no, right? Like exactly. This is something that you got to improve upon. Thank you so much for coming oh, in. And no we appreciate problem. all of our friends from Northwest Texas Hospital stopping in this week talking about Trauma Awareness Week. So good, good information for us all. Stick around, everybody. After the break, Musica Variata is back this weekend thanks to the Emerald Opera. We've got details. Too.